Hi everyone, today I wanted to share with you my top six dupes or affordable alternatives or cheaper and better products, whatever you wanna call them. These are my top six dupes of all time. And if you love City Lips the way I do, stay till the end. I have a dupe that I think many of you who love City Lips the way I do, I have something that I think that you are going to love just as good and I don't know, some say they love it even better. All right, the very first product is one that I recently shared. This is a dupe for the famous cult followed Le Mer moisturizing cream. Now I have a whole other detailed dupe video on this product. If you wanted to check out that video, I will make sure I link it down below and I'll try to remember to pop up a card if you wanted to look up here and click on that video if you wanted to see that video on these two products. But this is the super ridiculously expensive Le Mer. I bought this not because I love Le Mer. I only bought this so that I could uh, test it out and do the comparison because I was seeing on Instagram and I actually saw a dermatologist. That's where I got the idea that this was a dupe. So I thought, well, let me test it out myself. But the dermatologist was saying that this is a dupe as far as similar hydrating ingredients, similar emollient and occlusives. But of course, this one is loaded with a bunch of fragrance and this is fragrance free. But this is the cult following Le Mer moisturizing cream that supposedly has their miracle broth in it. It's like an algae type ingredient that a lot of people swear by, but I tested it out. It was horrible. I broke out in like red itchy hives on my skin. Some people say that they love it. I personally think it's a terrible product and I think it is highly, highly, highly overpriced. This is only a half of an ounce and I paid $100 for it. This is the product that the dermatologist was saying is a dupe or a more affordable alternative or a better option instead of purchasing something like this. This is better for the skin barrier than something like this. This is one of my holy grail products anyways. This is by Aven. This is their Sequel Reparative Restorative Cream. This is an amazing product. This is great for all different types of skin uh, issues, whether you have rosacea, eczema, if you have a bug bite, but if you just are looking for a really good, thick, rich moisturizer that's going to really help heal your skin barrier, I like to use this in the evenings if I'm really trying to see seal in all of my skincare products. Perhaps you're dealing with Retin-A uglies or your skin is just uh, irritated or maybe you just have really dry skin or maybe you love La Mer and you're looking for something that is similar and you don't want to keep uh, spending this kind of money on something like this. You might want to try this product right here. A lot of people that have tried this, they say that they really, really like this even better. If you love the way this feels rich and thick and elegant on the skin, you will probably also love the way this one also feels very rich and thick and elegant on the skin as well. So this to me was a really exciting dupe or affordable alternative to something like this. Again, when we say dupes, we're not saying they're the exact same ingredients. When we say dupes, oftentimes on YouTube, we're really just offering more affordable alternatives to something that is ridiculously expensive or more expensive. Even if you see a product that has identical ingredients, it might not be an exact product because it also uh, goes with how it's formulated. So just because something has the exact same ingredients doesn't mean it's the exact product. So this so far is one of the biggest dupes that I've discovered this year that hopefully will save you a lot of money. All right, if you're wondering why my background looks like I'm in a bathroom, that's because I am in a bathroom. <laughs> I'm on a cruise ship uh, bathroom. I've shared it in other videos, but if you're new to my channel, welcome. I uh, have been on a cruise ship for about probably five, six months now off and on. My husband and I spend more time on a cruise ship than we do anywhere else because we've sold everything. We don't even have a house. We pretty much travel and live on cruise ships. If you want to know more information about that, I'll pop a video up here and I'll also link that video down below of why we've sold everything and why I'm always on a cruise ship. So I apologize for the lighting. I brought a little teeny ring light. You could probably see the reflection of it over here in the shower. So I'm trying to get that reflection off because that might be a little distracting. I would film on our balcony. We actually, for the first time ever, got a balcony. We never get a balcony because we do love to travel, but we're cheap and we always do the little cheapest, smallest interior cabins. But I'm gonna do a vlog video and share all the different places we're going. We're actually crossing the Atlantic right now, heading to Europe. We'll be in Portugal tomorrow. And my neighbor likes to uh, smoke the Mary J. The cruise ship that we're on 
uh, is allowing it. So I'll be talking about that in another video. So I'm not filming over in that vicinity because first of all, it stinks. And uh, second of all, he's always out there. <laughs> <laughs> clearing his lungs I guess to get all of that stickiness off of his lungs so anyways whole other story I will be sharing more about that if you follow me on Instagram you'll already know my frustrations with what's going on on this cruise ship but so I'm kind of like hiding in the bathroom <laughs> and I have my camera up on this mirror all right so the very next dupe I probably didn't discover it this year but I've discovered it over the past couple years and I have tested so many other products to see if there was a better dupe out there but this is by far the absolute best one and if you watch my channel you know I have shared this a couple times but it is this electric toothbrush that is so ridiculously inexpensive I have purchased the really really expensive electric toothbrushes over the years and then I've also tested some other dupe toothbrushes that are supposed to be the same as the other sonic toothbrushes and just none of the other dupe sonic toothbrushes are the same I have gotten so many comments from many of you who have purchased this as well and you all have said this is the most amazing toothbrush I love this toothbrush and it is so inexpensive and it doesn't only come with this uh, toothbrush head it comes with I think eight of them it also comes with this little pointy one let me see if you can see how pokey it is this is really great to like get into the crevices so if you're dealing with like any yellowing put your toothpaste your whitening toothpaste on this little pokey thing and then you can really get in between your teeth as well this to me is such a value because those first of all the sonic toothbrushes are ridiculously expensive anyways but then when you want to buy brush heads the brush heads alone are super duper expensive I think I paid like $12 for this now they've raised the price last time I bought another one because I wanted one for travel and then one to leave at my mother-in-law's house whenever we visit her I think last time I bought it and they had like all of the different attachments I think it was like 20 bucks so they have raised the price a little bit on it over the past couple years but still 20 bucks for the toothbrush with a ton of brush heads compared to what the super duper expensive Sonic ones are with just one brush head. So this is like one of my favorite, favorite dupe purchases that I found uh, over the years. And if you try any of these uh, dupes that I'm sharing, leave me a comment down below if you've already tried any of them and let me know your thoughts. Let me know if any of these have worked for you. And of course, you know, it's always exciting when we can save money. So let me know if you've tried the super duper expensive ones and if you've tried the dupes, how you think that they compare. All right, this is a newer dupe that I haven't shared yet. Now this is a nail polish that I've shared in a couple videos that has been one of my holy grail nail polishes. This is actually a nail concealer. I have really small nail beds because I keep my nails really, really short. I was a medic in the military. I was in the United States Air Force for 12 years, but I was medically separated because I had a neck injury and had neck surgery. But since I was a medic, I always had to keep my nails short. And ever since then, I still like to have my nails really, really short. So I always like to have just like a really light clean uh, looking polish on. I don't like to wear colorful nail polish, you know, pinks, blues, because then it just looks like I have M&Ms stuck to my fingers. <laughs> it just doesn't look good. But this is one by the brand uh, London Town. This is one of their nail concealers. This is a really good polish that I've used for the past year or so, and I really liked it. Now this is, I think, 20 or $25, and I loved it. But the thing is, is I feel like after I get, I don't know if you can tell, it's almost half gone. I feel like after I get about half gone, I have to repurchase it because it seems to get thick and it's difficult for me to use it. The other thing I notice is after it's on my nails for like three, four days, I feel like it almost suffocates my nails and then when I take it off, my nails aren't, they're, they're super hard at first when I use it, but then after like three, four, five days, I feel like when I take it off, my nails feel like they've gotten soft, which is really strange. When I first use it, it doesn't do that. But then when the when it gets like half full, it, it starts to do that. I don't know. If any of you purchased this, let me know. Does it do that to you? I still love it. I still think it's a great product. I'll still probably keep purchasing it. But recently, I tried this one from the brand Dermalect. This is their Luminous. Let me read this. This says it's their Peptide Infused Brightener and Perfector. And it says it's a base coat but that's what I have on my nails today and I just wear this as my actual nail polish and this pretty much looks identical on my nails to this I mean as you can see they both 
pretty much look identical. They both have this really pretty uh, kind of iridescent sheen to them. And if you're thinking Dermalect, that brand sounds familiar. Yes, this is from the same brand as this Dermalect Self-Esteem Beauty Sleep Serum, my all-time favorite holy grail face serum that I'm sure many of you have heard me rave about. This is their nail polish. They have a whole nail polish line and I've tried a few of their nail polishes already, but this is one, they actually sent me this. I discovered the brand by buying their products, purchasing them on their own, and of course they finally saw my videos, I guess because I rave about them enough, and then they did reach out to me and they sent me a few of their products, and this was one of the products that they did send me, and I absolutely love this. This is not sponsored by the way. I do receive a referral commission, so I will leave my affiliate link down below but you never have to use my affiliate links or my discount codes you can always google uh, products that you're interested in of course if you do use uh, the discount codes you receive a discount and if you use my affiliate links I really appreciate it but never any pressure to use it but none of my videos are ever sponsored I've never done sponsored videos I never will but if you do like that clean look to your nails you might really like this but the one thing that I love about this is my nails stay a lot harder longer compared to when I use the other products. So even if I leave this on my nails for five days, when I take it off, my nails stay super duper hard. But the one thing that I don't like about it, well, actually I love about it, but for me, I don't like it because I like to keep my nails super duper short, but I'm sure other people will love it. Whatever is in this, I know it says it's their peptide infused, uh, polish whatever is in this it makes my nails grow so ridiculously fast so I I don't like to put this on my toenails that often because then I mean I guess unless I want to climb trees and use my toenails to grip the trees I don't really like it on my toenails too often but this makes my fingernails grow so fast so I'm having to cut them and file them more often than I normally would so if you're dealing with your nails not growing you might want to try some of their uh, nail products because my nails grow so, so fast. Right, really quickly, one other one that I've talked about for many, 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 many years is the Dermatology Sunscreen. This is one that I've used forever and I've shared it in a gazillion videos, but I just wanted to throw this in here. If you like the Elta MD UV Clear Sunscreen, which I do really like that, but that one's really pricey. This is the sunscreen by Dermatology. This is the non-tinted one, and then they also have the tinted one. I love them both. I didn't bring the Elta MD UV Clear uh, with me on the cruise but if you are familiar with it and you're like man I'm tired of forking out all that money all the time or you're always tired of waiting on a sale sometimes it does go on sale and then it makes it not so bad to buy it but if you want something that is pretty much identical I feel like the Elta MD UV clear sometimes is a little bit stickier and this one I don't feel that this is sticky at all but I like this better than the expensive Elta MD but to me even I think Dr. Dre was saying that she felt that these were dupes and she liked this one better as well. All right, I'm gonna get to the City Lips dupe here in a second because I think many of you are gonna be pretty excited about that one. But I wanted to share with you one other dupe just in case you didn't see that video. If you like affordable makeup, this was the Alter Ego uh, Midsummer Eyeshadow Palette. This is identical to the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Nouveau Palette. And when that Nouveau Palette came out, I saw it at the uh, store at Sephora and I thought, man, this is so pretty but I didn't want to spend the money on it because I'm cheap but then of course when this one came out now the company sent me this one alter ego did so I thought well darn now I got to go buy the Anastasia one so I can do the comparison and man I am glad that I never purchased the Anastasia back then because I would have given it away after I tried it because you know who knew they were gonna dupe it but there's so much fallout the colors are beautiful on the Anastasia one but there's so much fallout on it the colors on this one they are so creamy they are so beautiful and let me just show you I know a lot of people were asking about this shade right here this is what I have on my eyes today let me see if I can zoom in I put this in the crease I put this like in the outer V I put a little bit of this kind of nude shade on the lid and then I just put a little bit of this one on the lid and I'll put a little bit more on just so you can see but then it's a pretty it's like a frosty kind of green shade, it's so pretty. And I do have another video where I show these colors, I swatch them. I do a comparison of these uh, right next to the Anastasia Beverly Hills and I show uh, this palette on one eye and the ABH on the other eye. So again, I'm not a makeup artist or anything like that, so it's not like you're gonna learn really great makeup 
tips and tricks from me, <laughs> but at least if you're interested in it, this is a huge, huge savings from the Anastasia one. Out of all of them that they've sent me, this is by far my favorite. I love this palette so much. To me, this performs much better than the Anastasia palette. All right, and now on to City Lips. And just because I am sharing a dupe for City Lips does not mean that I don't like City Lips. I love City Lips. I am probably City Lips number one fan still to this day. I actually discovered City Lips, golly, what, 12, 14 some years ago, long before I was ever on YouTube. I've been on YouTube now, what, maybe five years. So City Lips has just been like my ride or die forever. I never go anywhere without City Lips. I think I brought three or four tubes of it with me for this long cruise, but I'm always, 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 always trying to find a dupe for it. Just because it's my favorite doesn't mean I'm, I'm not trying to find something more affordable. City Lips retails for I think $35. I do have a 15% off discount code and every now and then they do have sales. I love it when they have their buy one, get one free sales, but I'm still always trying to find something that might be cheaper and better or just something that's even uh, similar to it. If you name it, I've probably tried it. Every single other lip plumper on the market. Even my all-time favorite face serum from Dermalect, their Beauty Sleep Serum, Holy Grail Serum. So just because I love that brand and I love that serum, of course I had to get their lip plumper. I hated it. <laughs> so I tried pretty much everything on the market and I just can't seem to find anything that is a dupe. Well, I have a product that I actually use now for two, three years since it first came out. I've tried it ever since it first came out. But I've always said, wow, this is like identical to City Lips, but I didn't realize it was considered a dupe because I never paid attention to a couple really key important things. So if you hate City Lips, you're not gonna like this dupe. But if you're a City Lips mega fan like I am and you wanna save some money and you don't like always waiting on the City Lips BOGO sales, but you want something that basically is like a City Lips BOGO sale and you want something that's kind of a little more luxurious than City Lips, I think that you're gonna absolutely love this dupe. This is by Revision Skincare. Now I've shared this before, but I never called it a dupe because Revision Skincare retails for $40. This retails for uh, $35. And I never paid attention to the ounces. The ounces that you get in this City Lips is 0.16 ounces. And the ounces you get in this is 0.33 ounces. That's more than double that you get in this compared to this. So I always wondered, why does this seem to last me so much longer than this, it's because you get a ton more in this than this. So this actually turns out to be like a City Lips BOGO. So price-wise, this comes out to be a much better price. Also, I have, I think, a 20 or 25% off uh, discount for this. So it comes out to be even better than a BOGO. Now that we've got the price out of the way that this one is much more affordable, let's talk about what these do. They both plump up the lips. They both have hyaluronic acid. They both have peptides. They both have antioxidants. They both have my favorite form of vitamin C in them, the THD, the tetrahexyl desyl ascorbate in them. They both have a lot of really nice ingredients. This has shea butter. I think it has green tea in it. Um, they both have jojoba in them. As far as the way they feel on the skin, they both really have the same really high shine, glossy look to them. They both are very thick and occlusive when you put them on the lips and then this is the revision right next to it so they both really look identical but this has like this cooling metal tip on it neither one of them cause any burning or stinging they're not like some of those other ones that you feel like oh my gosh I have to get them off my lips now the city lips has kind of like a a very light, very faint kind of vanilla-y cake scent, and the Revision has a very faint kind of like minty scent. It's not strong. I think it's like the very last ingredient on the uh, ingredient, so it's very, very faint. But the one thing I do notice is even though I always do get a really nice plumping, nothing crazy. I'm not going to look like I had fillers in my lips, but when I put on my City Lips, I do notice my lips look full. You know, the wrinkles are just kind of smoothed out, just kind of look like they're ironed out a little bit. And it just kind of gives me that little oomph to my lips. But I will say, lately I have been enjoying using my Revision a little bit better because, I don't know, maybe my lips are getting used to my City Lips or something like that. I just really notice more plumping 
than I do with this. So I don't know, leave me a comment. If you love City Lips already and you've also tried Revision, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts on uh, the comparison of these two. Now, and if anyone wanted any more information on why these two products are my holy grail products and why this in particular is my all time favorite holy grail face serum that has like worked miracles on my skin. It works in one time using it. I think that's another reason I love it because I'm impatient. Who doesn't want results overnight? This serum is absolutely phenomenal and it's super inexpensive. So if you want more information on this product, I am going to pop up a video up here if you wanted to click on that and check it out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.